no matter if you're having a good day or a bad day, the numbers on the weight are the same. So even when you're having a bad day, the smallest weight can seem heavy. And on a good day, you know, a good day is a good day, but the goal is to make sure that even on those bad days, those days that you're dieting and you're hurting and you want to give up or whatever, that you make those days your best workout. You find something in you that you step up. You have to be in shape all year because all it takes is for some guy with a camera to go post your pics up on YouTube or something and you know people people talk trash so you gotta make sure that you're looking at the bodybuilder every day. There's some guys they're they're hunting when they when they go heavy. They can't just steadily turn it. And really you're using this pinky right here to turn it. You're like almost pouring the dumbbell out. I've been doing a lot more seated uh, because there's less movement as far as like momentum and then involving more of the traps and the, and the hips and the knees and stuff just to get the weight up. Exercise, I'm trying to you know lean over and come right about here just a little bend in the elbows you don't want to go flat because it's people tricep I noticed but just a little bit of a bend Especially from the side, they don't have much thickness to it, so that's something I noticed that I needed. So what we're doing on this one, using the chamber bar, keeping the hands pretty close in, and just going up through here. No need to go too high, but right about here is good. And obviously, we're working this side of the gallery. So then, when you're standing there, you see that split that I have right there? That's, that's this chunk right here. That's what we're trying to work on. I think by not doing the uh, Arnold Classic or any other show allowed me to be fresh for this prep. Pulling back here, I can really target the rear belt. So, and with it being on this machine with the cables, I got each arm working independently. Obviously, if you're doing it right, you feel it tugging at your rear delts. If you're doing it wrong, you're gonna feel more in your tricep. That's it. That was four. So now we do some. Uh, sevens on the side bench. I'm laughing because it doesn't look like <laughs> much, but on this particular machine, because of the way it's set up, it's heavy. <laughs> That's the good thing about sevens, like, first couple sets I can test it out, test my strength out, and if I need to go up, I can go up, you know? But once I go up, I ain't going down. Uh, 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 
important piece stuff to throw during this. The most important stuff is game work. It's a damn Olympia, man. Uh, second place ain't good enough. I'm getting those last two. Even though I got eight, I came back and did the Heather, too. Gotta finish strong, man. Gotta finish strong every workout. Can't screw around. I know the rest of the guys, they would have done the same thing. Be better. No matter if you're having a good day or a bad day, the numbers on the weight are the same. So even when you're having a bad day, the smallest weight can seem heavy. And on a good day, you know, a good day's a good day, but the goal is to make sure that 